Hello, I'm the Angry Anime Mong Nerd, and today I'm going to talk about Toonami. Okay, Toonami had its last run um, about a couple months ago, and I've been hearing a lot of shit about it, I've been hearing a lot of people crying over it, and I feel like it's in my power to do something about it. Now, I'm not going to sit here and cry about it. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take you a little bit back to the past and t and tell you how good Tanami is instead of while we're grieving over it because that's I mean stuff going away that's that's part of life okay now let me see okay now Tanami introduced now when I first watched Tanami. I was only seven or eight, so I don't remember the astronaut thing, so, the astronaut looking guy, but I do remember Tom the robot, I mean, he was like this little shrill, midget little robot too, I mean, it, it was hilarious, but I actually took him seriously when I, when I undergo uh, several transformations, yeah, I, uh, yeah, but they had, but, Whenever I when I remember they had a midnight block a a a, a Saturday morning block they had a afternoon block now let me tell you what what knocked those each off the air I'll start with the morning the morning they had their stupid cartoon uh, early morning cartoon crap okay afternoon Maguzi at very late at night they uh. They bumped it down to one night a week because of Adult Swim. Okay then, because I believe that that uh, that Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network have been uh, have been competing each other for a while. Um, Nickelodeon had adult shows and Cartoon Network had had adult shows. It was all about the it was all about the competition, really. Oh, and especially when our uh, Nickelodeon decided to pull up Avatar and people calling it a fucking anime. Okay, that's old news. I'm getting over it now. Okay. But anyway, it introduced me to a lot of good anime. Rooney Kenshin, Yu Yu Hakusho. Uh, hell. Let me see. Naruto. Yeah, Naruto. I saw Naruto in English first, and then I did in Japanese, but I kind of still kind of like Japanese better. Okay. Now, let me see. Now, a lot of these. Now, for those of you out there crying about it, my god. A lot of the stuff that we were watching today, or, or so many years ago. Stuff's gonna, stuff like this is gonna happen where it's gonna have its last run and that'll be the end of it. Okay, like, think of our parents. Okay, I can name five old TV shows that my parents used to watch. Leave it to Beaver, Monsters, Adam's Family, oh, let me see. The Jetsons, Floodstones, those went away and gone to boomerang. As as some cartoons did in the 1990s, like Dexter's Lab, uh, NNA, which that was a real big loss there. Uh, hell, my brain's not really functioning that well today. Cow and Chicken. A lot of stuff was on there. I will admit. Now, a lot of that stuff. Now, the stuff that we're watching today, like Heroes Lost. Uh, hell, what else? Heroes Lost. Uh, Desperate Housewives. I just heard about the show. I don't watch it. Yeah, uh, I'm just naming shows here. I'm sorry. Uh, you know, a lot of those shows will be gone like that. 
And a lot of people tell me that you won't miss something until it's gone, and I believe that is really true. Now, and a lot, of, and they have solved that problem. The and, they, and most people solve that problem by by buying DVDs now. And I suggest that that you do the same. I see like several Naruto DVDs out there that are uncut. Yep, uncut. So, sure. I mean, go ahead and cry about it, but come on, just get some DVDs and some or something. Like, just don't, man, just don't like. Like, whine about it, damn! But, anyway, I'm the Angry Anime Manga Nerd, and stay tuned for more.